Gemini is a New York-based crypto exchange noted to be founded by the Winklevoss twins and has a reputation for being very high on the security end of things while also following along with all the US-based regulations. In this video, we're gonna give a good, quick review of the Gemini app and their website, as well as the active trader aspect of things and what I think on this platform. Stick around to find out. But before we jump into the video, go ahead that like and subscribe button if you wanna learn more about Gemini or other crypto exchanges like this, and let us know down below which crypto exchange you use. All right, let's jump right into the video. So Gemini's biggest claim to fame is that it is a fully regulated exchange in the cryptocurrency space. They were founded back in 2013, and from their original start date, they were trying to follow all the US-based regulations. So if you're looking for an exchange out there that is not going to have to worry about doing the right paperwork or following along with the right cryptocurrencies and going within what is within the regulations, then this would be the exchange that would work best for you. They have a pretty good interface and when it comes around to tax time, they will actually give you a tax form so that you can just plug and chug that right into your TurboTax or give it straight to your CPA when it becomes that time. So one of my favorite things about Gemini is that it is pretty easy to get on there and start trading. And so the barrier to entry is very low. All you have to do is have a phone or have access to a website that you can get on there and log in and you can start trading. Now you do have access if you are in any of the 50 states, you can actually start trading on there and you can trade up to 75 plus cryptocurrencies in addition to Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, and a bunch of the other approved Gemini coins. So overall, Gemini is very newbie friendly and if you are interested in getting your feet wet into the crypto space, then this is a exchange that I would highly recommend you checking out. So if you follow along with our channel at all over the past year or so, you might know that we are a big fan of dollar cost averaging. We are not big on timing the market and buying and trying to sell at the right time. We actually like buying reoccurring buys on a monthly basis because we know that in the stock market at least, it's going to be going up over the long term. Well, if you're interested in doing that with cryptocurrencies, Gemini has that feature as well. You can buy in reoccurring buys on a monthly basis and dollar cost average into Bitcoin, Ethereum, or if you wanna build your own little index fund, then you can do that as well. So this is a great functionality that not a lot of the other exchanges offer. And so for that reason, I will give Gemini a big thumbs up. Now there are gonna be two big trading types with Gemini that I'm gonna talk about. One is gonna be the mobile and more user-friendly aspect of the exchange. The other is gonna be the active trader aspect of it that you will need to be using through their website on a computer or a desktop. First we're gonna talk about is gonna be the mobile use of the app. And so this is the one that majority of the people out there are gonna be using. They're gonna be going on their phone, downloading the app, signing up, and then waiting to be approved. Once they're approved, then it's as simple as plugging and chugging in your bank account to transfer money into the Gemini service and then buying and selling Bitcoin or any of the other cryptocurrencies out there that you're interested in using. So if you're looking to buy $100 in Bitcoin, then all you're going to have to do is plug in $100 and it'll pull up the transaction and the convenience fee for you. So this is going to be the biggest setback, I think, of Gemini and the mobile app is that the fees are relatively high. Every transaction that you have will have a 0.5% convenience fee of whatever amount you're trying to buy, as well as a transaction fee that is going to change depending on how much money you are buying into that cryptocurrency. So for the majority of the trade, it's going to be about $1.99 if that's under $200. If you go above $200, then it's going to increase up to a 1.49% fee of how much ever you are using. Now, in my opinion, that is a little high as I do mostly use Binance.us and my fees are way lower, approximately 0.1%. And then if I'm trading with the BNB coin, then it drops down to 0.075%, which is way better than that 1.49% transaction fee that they are talking about. But you are also paying a little bit more to have a little bit more warm and fuzzy inside and a little more security with Gemini compared to Binance.us. More specifically, if we're talking about the trading fee street structure of Gemini on the mobile orders, anything less than $10 is gonna have a transaction fee of 99 cents. Between $10 and $25 is gonna be $1.49. And then above $25 to $50 is gonna be $1.99. 
After that, greater than $50 to $200 will move all the way up to $2.99, and then greater than $200 will be 1.49% like we talked about earlier. Now, the other type of the exchange that I was talking about earlier is going to be the active trader account. And this is something that has to do with somebody that's going to be trading on a more regular basis. And they're going to base how much your fees are off of your 30-day trade volume. So if you're somebody that's going to be trading less than $10,000 per month, then there's going to be a taker fee of 4.4%, and then there's going to be a maker fee of 0.2%. If you're trading greater than $10,000, then your taker fee is gonna be 0.3%, and then your maker fee will be 0.1%. And if you're trading greater than $50,000 in a 30-day period, then your taker fee will be 0.25%, and your maker fee will be 0.1%. So not very many people out there are gonna be trading at these high volumes, but this is a nice little perk if you are trading at higher volumes that you'll have a little bit lower fee and makes it a little bit more accessible and better to go with Gemini than comparing it to the other exchanges. Now, if you are interested in what a maker and taker is, maker and taker are how they quantify and talk about whether you are creating some sort of order or you're fulfilling some other order. So if you were to buy and want $100 of Bitcoin and you type that in, and you create that and somebody has already offered up selling $100 worth of their Bitcoin at the price that you are wanting it at, then that would be a taker fee and you'll be paying that based off of that scale. But if you are somebody that has put up a sell out there and it nobody has bought it yet and you're waiting for somebody to fulfill it, then you are the maker and you'll be paying that fee accordingly. So the fee structures can be kind of confusing, but that is a big thing in deciding which cryptocurrency exchange you want to go with because if you're paying a large amount in fees, then you're not gonna be able to invest as much as you thought, and then it won't add up as much in the future. So if you can pay the fewest amount in fees possible, then that's what I would recommend. Overall, weigh and balance the fee structure with the more security that you get with Gemini compared to all the other exchanges. It's, re it's really up to you and what you think is most important in your buying of the cryptocurrencies. Now, another part of Gemini that I want to talk about is that if you do own GUSD or even just the dollar amount that you have in the cryptocurrency exchange itself, they will actually uh, FDIC insure up to $250,000 of either the US dollar or the GUSD if it's sitting in their exchange, which is similar to most other banks out there that are FDIC insured, that if you have a bank account up to $250,000, that will be insured by them. And if in the case of it being lost, they will actually reimburse you for that. Now, another big thing that I want to kind of hit on is the security of Gemini and how it's setting itself apart from other exchanges. I do want to note that in the earlier times of Gemini and the cryptocurrency world, uh, Cameron and Tyler Winklevoss, uh, they were both investors in the cryptocurrency and they felt like they were restricted on what they could do and the security based on their cryptocurrency. They struggled to find a platform where they could securely manage their growing portfolio. And then out of that frustration and lack of trust, they built the Gemini network to develop, to deliver the, the first you know, trusted platform that focused on strong security controls and compliance. Gemini really prides themselves in their security where they will be delivering reports on fraud and abuse. They also have coordinated disclosure programs and valid Gemini communications. One thing I do want to note is that Gemini does not offer phone support. All their support is provided via email and you will only be contacted by certain Gemini email addresses. So make, keep a lookout there for the ones that you, if you are looking for some support, make sure it is a valid Gemini address. Now, just like many other crypto exchanges out there, Gemini does offer two-factor authentication where that is actually a default in order to access your account. They do support hardware security keys like YubiKey and allow for more secure two-factor experiences. And then it does have address allow listing allows users to restrict cryptocurrency withdrawals to allow listed cryptocurrency addresses. They do pride themselves in having all their employees undergo rigorous background checks and are subject to ongoing screenings throughout their employment. Do have multiple signatures that will be required for a transfer of cryptocurrency out of a cold storage system and perform other sensitive functions. And Gemini was the first cryptocurrency exchange and custodium to complete the SOC 1 Type 2 exam and the SOC Type 2 exam and earn an ISO 27001 certification. 
Now that does sound like a lot of numbers and letters, but this is a pretty high certification and they do maintain compliance with a couple other uh, debit and credit card data companies that puts them at a little bit higher security level. So overall, my verdict on Gemini is that it does give you a lot of rich features in association with a secure network, as well as following all the regulations that the US is requiring. It is a great app for those people that are new to crypto investing, as well as those that are a little bit more developed and are more advanced traders with their online trading platform. Now with all of the regulations and the compliance that they are doing and the security features, there is a drawback associated with the fees that come along with this premium service. And unfortunately, they do not offer a support service that you can talk to an actual human on the other side of that phone. Now, all this aside, I would take all of it in consideration and I would probably give Gemini about a four out of five thumbs up for an exchange because of their great features. So I hope you got some good information from this video. We are here to help you from your first penny to your first million. We'll see you next time.